found the biggest idiot of all time. A pressure point for weight loss. That's definitely real. Oh my God. Do not do it with pregnant. And then the little he at the end, like, shut up, read a book or something. Doing this is going to make you lose weight. You probably shouldn't even go to the gym. Just go to the doctor, get your brain checked out because there's clearly something wrong. So Ryan is bashing this lady for even suggesting that there are pressure points that could help with weight loss. And the comments aren't that much better either. Straight up, look at her, you can tell it doesn't work. No way people think it's real, they'll do everything but work out. And the lady even says, I literally just found it and researched it and wanted to share it. Now, as crazy as it sounds, there is actually evidence that acupressure therapy works. What's up guys, Derek, moreplacemoreaids.com. Today we're gonna to be talking about magically losing weight by rubbing hair. The video got 4 million views and 500,000 likes. Maybe this can stroke the good old algorithm posted by definitely bored on the More Place More Dates subreddit. This chick says there is a pressure point for weight loss by Sway. I don't know how to fucking say this. Basically what you do to massage this point, you place two fingers on the Sway point. Apply gentle but firm pressure to the point with both fingers. Use a circular motion to massage the point for two to three minutes. And apparently, it's on Healthline. It makes you fucking, gets you lean, bro. Let's see how it's, uh, how we do this. There's a pressure point for weight loss. Do not do if pregnant, exclamation marks. Massage this pressure point for two to three minutes every day. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. This doctor also apparently gave his take on it. All right, let's see. Here we go. Oh, this is the original. There's a pressure point for... 575,000 likes at this point. And I don't know if I can't see the comments because I'm just banned on this fucking platform right now. Maybe that is the case, actually. Hang on. Because if you didn't know, as of now, my fucking profile is indeed banned for dispelling shit like this. I don't know, because that's basically what I do. <laughs> so I don't really know, but uh, we'll see if we can recover it. But it's just absolute fucking silliness. And this is the video that went viral, 4.2 million. There's a pressure point for weight loss. Yeah, so anyway, she does it, and then this doctor ends up responding. I found the biggest idiot of all time. A pressure point for weight loss, that's definitely real. Oh my God. Do not do it with pregnant. And then the little he at the end, like, shut up, read a book or something. Doing this is going to make you lose weight. You probably shouldn't even go to the gym. Just go to the doctor, get your brain checked out, because there's clearly something wrong. So Ryan is bashing this lady for even suggesting that there are pressure points. Wow, I love the call to authority. Doctor here, fucking hand up, bro. Points that could help with weight loss. And the comments aren't that much better either. Straight up, look at her, you can tell it doesn't work. The way people think it's real, they'll do everything but work out. And the lady even says, I literally just found it and researched it and wanted to share it. Now... Okay, so off the bat, I'm a little bit, you know, annoyed with the guy being like, I'm a fucking doctor. So actually, you can shut the fuck up and whatever you said is totally irrelevant because I'm the qualified one here. So listen to me. He then goes on to be, you know, a little bit easy on her. And he's nice by the fact that he says, you know, she's not claiming it's going to do any of this shit. She just found it and she's just showing it because she thinks it's cool. And that's fine. So I'm a little bit 50-50 on this guy already. Now, as crazy as it sounds, there is actually evidence that acupressure therapy works. Here's the thing, there are many well-established East Asian practices that we in the West just don't understand. This piqued my interest that as an academic and researcher, I did some digging. And I actually found quite a lot of evidence that acupressure therapy is effective for weight loss. Like in this meta-analysis of seven studies, they found that auricular acupressure therapy, which are the pressure points inside your ear, is effective for weight loss and the reduction of waist circumference when compared to control. This almost reminds me of the fucking dirt in your backyard outperforms minoxidil study, bro. Peppermint oil, fucking pretty much every single natural herb you've ever heard of outperforms minoxidil in one study or another. Ultimately, is this actually legit? You know, can you find a study for pretty much fucking anything at this point? You know, perhaps, you know, I would assume if you're spending time doing these exercises, that's time that you're not eating. So hypothetically, you could be eating less overall calories per day and then have a net better energy expenditure relative to intake, thus equating to more weight loss or Perhaps your stress levels reduce because it's, you know, a form of, I don't know, stress relief slash meditation doing uh, acupressure therapy or something like that. You know, those are plausible explanations, I would think. You know, if you got a massage or something, I can imagine that would make you more relaxed. Perhaps that, you know, regulates your fucking, you know, adrenal hormones a little bit better. I don't know. And ultimately that can net out to less, you know, binge eating or something. I don't see how the actual act of fucking massaging my mustache is going to fucking help me you know, get shredded, but let's listen further. 
Boom, sponsored integration. This is the Magic Spoon integration again, gracing the channel with their ridiculously good cereal. How they have managed to literally create cereal as good as junk cereal that you had as a kid that is like type two diabetes inducing essentially, I have no idea. They managed to sweeten it with monk fruit and allulose has like no sugar essentially, is gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, keto-friendly, low-carb, tastes amazing. Doesn't really make sense how it tastes so amazing because of the ridiculously absent sugar content, the natural sweeteners that are not going to cause a disturbance to your gut microbiome. I don't get it, dude, but I love this shit. I used to buy it myself. I would go out of my way to uh, buy it um, even when I was in Canada and they didn't ship there it was very problematic to get it i literally drove over to a p.o box to get it when i would go and get my blood work done it was that good you know it was something that i would uh binge a box on my cheat day or i would integrate into uh my post-workout um, meal on a more regular basis like this is something that satisfies the sweet tooth and it can actually be a relatively good adherent strategy for a calorie deficit now it's not like a nothing food. It's not a high volume food. But again, at some point, your leptin and ghrelin gets so dysregulated in a steep deficit that you end up starting to crave stuff that tastes like sugar. And this stuff does the trick with a complete lack of actual sugar. You know, it's amazing. It's uh, It comes in a variety of flavors. Um, some of the new ones are actually pretty exciting. The cookies and cream flavor, absolutely absurd. We have this uh, maple waffle, which is new as well. The cinnamon flavor, also new. Like, a lot of new flavors coming out of the woodwork, dude. We got the classic fruity here. I've been digging into this one. The cookies and cream one, I'm almost done already. Classic peanut butter, this is one of my top three. Cocoa, one of their best sellers. And the goddamn, <laughs> the trump card, the frosted. This is like the, uh, this is probably my favorite one, to be honest. You can't really... Frost is just unreal, dude. Now, as far as the macros goes, these are actually pretty bodybuilding friendly. If you're somebody who cares about your body composition, if you're you know trying to diet down and get lean, if you're trying to maintain peak performance, but otherwise would have been you know going to another you know sweet tooth satisfying food that's essentially void of any kind of useful amounts of protein. Like this is something that actually hits your protein intake whilst being friendly for the rest of your diet. You know, the calorie intake is not that significant either, and it can be a pretty damn good additive to your diet when you're not in the deepest of deficit. This is something that can be integrated into a surplus with ease. It can be integrated into a maintenance phase with ease and even in a deficit until you get to like, you know, single digit levels where you're eating giant salads essentially all day with bags of popcorn and protein ice creams. This stuff is very easy to fit in and it's very, very satisfying to fit in. It has zero grams of sugar, 14 grams of protein, and four net grams of carbs in each serving, which, you know, you put this in almond milk, you put it in, you know, whatever your preferred, you know, your preferred uh, medium of uh, administering the goddamn cereal. Um, however you want to eat it, I have unsweetened <laughs> almond milk and it's very low calorie. Like, how do I manage to fucking sound scientific when I'm talking about goddamn milk? Skim milk, like whatever you want to do, dude. Normal milk, you can do whatever you want. But at the end of the day, it tastes really good. Like surprisingly helpful to hitting your protein intake. This is something that's actually going to help you hit your requirements on a daily basis. And you find that you actually are able to crank your intake up pretty decently, you know, because you otherwise might have ended up using a no protein food essentially to satisfy the sweet tooth. There's not very many that are concurrently hitting both vectors at the same time. And this stuff does a great job at it. You know, the 140 calories, it's not too significant of a burden for a 14 gram protein uh, payout essentially. And um, the flavors are all great. Um, I haven't come across one that I haven't been a fan of yet. Again, if I was to make a recommendation for a new one that's come out, the cookies and cream, absolutely absurd. I'm almost done. I'm gonna be digging into my second box soon. And I have been able to adhere to my cutting diet whilst integrating this. This is something I've been able to successfully integrate into my post-workout nutrition window and still uh, stay under my calorie limit for the day while I'm cutting. And it helps uh, push my protein intake up a bit, which otherwise would have been uh, you know, deficient essentially from where I'm trying to hit my protein goals for the day if I were to replace this with some other kind of you know, like simple carb or something that would have otherwise satisfied my sweet tooth. Um, so for me, you know, this is a great alternative and there are very few naturally sweetened things that I actually enjoy. And this stuff, the fact that the breakdown is actually like 
you know, like healthy looking and it hits my protein needs at the same time. And there's such a great variety of the flavor systems. It's like, it's just good. You know, for me, I definitely, I actually enjoy it. I'm not just saying it cause I'm sponsored as you saw, you know, I've already bought this stuff before. Um, so I would highly recommend you give it a shot. If, uh, not on, even if not on a regular basis, like if you're going to have a cheat day and again, I know a lot of guys, you know, are in the similar boat where your leptin and ghrelin get so dysregulated that you end up binging on something. If you're going to binge on something, this is something that is way better to end up binging on than, you know, like cookies or whatever. And this can be still very, very satisfying. Like I could bomb through a whole box of this on a cheat day if I wanted to. And when you actually look at the breakdown of it, you haven't actually d destroyed yourself that badly for the day. Despite if you had a whole box of another cereal, like you would have pushed yourself back like two days worth of progress and cutting. Like this is the kind of alternative that I feel is actually worth getting and is actually worth, you know, satisfying your sweet tooth on while still eating your protein. So anyways, I think I broke it down enough. If you guys want to support me, support uh, Magic Spoon, you know, they obviously believe in my channel and, you know, I bought their stuff even well before, you know, they took any, they even knew I existed. So, you know, it's cool to have this kind of integration for me with something that I actually valued enough to spend my own money on before. So, you know, presumably you guys would feel the same. And that's why I only bring stuff to you guys that I think um, you would value the same way I do. So if you want to support me, it's much appreciated when you guys use my coupon codes and my links and whatnot. So I will put it in the video description below. You can use uh, the link or you can use my code Derek to save $5 off your order at checkout. Um, you can build your very own variety box. You don't have to stick with, uh, you know, the uh, preset options or anything. You can customize it in any way you want with any of the flavors that I mentioned. You know, there are a lot to choose from. Um, some that I didn't even mention like blueberry too, like also a very good flavor. Um, and they have new ones coming out all the time. So I recommend you, uh, you check it out. And they also wanted me to mention that they have a 100% guarantee. So if you don't like it for whatever reason, they will refund your money. No questions asked, uh, which is pretty cool. It, they also wanted me to mention the Canadian shipping. Cause again, I mentioned, you know, my trials and tribulations of getting cereal. <laughs> in the past as a, a Canadian resident and my trips to the PO box. So if you guys want to give it a shot, you know, I feel like you won't be disappointed. This stuff tastes great. Hits your macros, stays within your calorie limit with relative ease. And it's uh, just one of the best things that I would defer to as like a diet alternative for satisfying the sweet tooth whilst being mindful of your body composition goal. So check it out, help support me. It's much appreciated when you guys check out anything that I am associated with, especially brands that are um, going out of their way to um, put a lot on the line and integrate like directly into a main video with like a big ad read. So hopefully you guys like it. Hopefully, uh, you know, it's much appreciated when you guys support me and whatnot and back to the originally scheduled programming. It's also aided further weight loss when combined with diet and exercise interventions. Looking at another study in more detail, they took 59 people and made three groups. After eight weeks of acupressure 30 minutes before meals, they found that acupressure groups had reduced body weight, waist circumference, and felt more full before meals. So like ultimately is that not just people again doing something that they feel like is going to help them. So then maybe their mind is literally, you know, sort of like pre-trained in their head to think like this is my outcome should be, you know, increased weight loss because I'm doing this therapy. So then, you know, ultimately I should also eat a bit less. Is there some sort of improvement to your metabolic rate by doing this fucking thing? Like, I don't really think so. Ultimately, I think it would boil down to a little bit of perhaps relaxation plus occupying more time that you could have otherwise been eating. And perhaps, um, yeah, like the adrenal regulation, hormone regulation. I just fucking flipped off the camera, my bad. Um, might make you more relaxed. Maybe you're going to eat less because you're less, you know, overall stressed. Like, I don't fucking know. I'm just pulling the shit out of my ass at the end of the day, but ultimately is rubbing your lip going to, you know, significantly increase your metabolism. Like obviously fucking not, you know, it doesn't really make sense at all. <laughs> and this is the same in many other studies too. Like I would like to see the proposed mechanism of action before I like really, you know, accept this as like a legitimate intervention. Of course, these findings need to be replicated in future studies, but the evidence we have so far is actually promising. The main hypothesis is that acupressure therapy Okay, take away what I said. Here we go. Mechanism of action. Let's see. P normalizes the body's dysfunction through different stimulation points. Different acupressure points aid in the reduction of stress and improve sleep quality. Backed by this meta-analysis. Okay, I didn't I didn't guess sleep quality, but I would have imagined as a downstream cause of less stress. 
any kind of, you know, regulation of natural processes that would be, you know, dysfunctional from the result of high stress equates to a better net outcome. But ultimately, is it the, could you have achieved this with meditation or fucking anything else? I, like, I guess it's legitimate, you know, if you think about it, that's basically like saying any way to relax, you could say like, get a hot tub, sit in it 30 minutes a night and, uh, you know, get more relaxed. That'll help you lose weight. Seems legit. Seems like it could be a comparable outcome, perhaps. This in 2016. And we know that stress and sleep influence our appetite hormones, predisposed to abdominal fat storage and lowers our resting metabolic rate. Acupressure also aids in intestinal motility and digestion. All of these mechanisms are valid strategies to aid a calorie deficit and therefore weight loss. So it's not far-fetched to say that acupressure therapy may be a useful tool to help shift the calories in, calories out equation in your favor. Now, acupuncture, which is based on the exact same principle as acupressure, is well documented to be effective for weight loss, backed by this meta-analysis on 29 controlled studies, concluding that acupuncture was effective for weight loss in short-term trials, further backed by this 2018 review, which found that acupuncture is an effective treatment for obesity. Now, I'm not an expert in Eastern medical practices, but it's amazing to me that people would just disregard something because to them it sounds silly, not realizing that just maybe it's possible there are mechanisms for health that we just don't yet understand. So I hope this was as enlightening for you as it was for me. Class dismissed. Class dismissed, bro. Um, no, that was that was good. You know, he definitely dug into it pretty hard. But again, is this gonna be the equivalent of like a legitimate, what was it, like a half an hour acupressure se session before fucking meals or whatever? Like, I highly doubt this is going to be the equivalent of like a full body, I don't know. Like again, I would have to dig into it. So maybe I could be wrong. Maybe I'm just extrapolating way too hard, but I imagine it's a bit more intensive than just going like this for two minutes to actually achieve those net reductions in stress, which downstream are going to, you know, improve your sleep quality and net out, you know, a better um, calories in calories out equation. But, um, you know, good for him for coming to this chick's defense, I guess, and trying to, you know, um, justify the claims to some extent and, you know, put some science behind it. Not really a huge fan of the, uh, you know, we're in fucking class, sit down, I'm the doctor appeal, but I mean, other than that, legit. Do I think it's gonna make that big of a difference? No, especially this one, but I mean, if you are a highly stressed individual and you can find a way to de-stress and achieve these outcomes through, you know, massages or fucking acupressure, or acupuncture, or whatever is the most legitimate modality for your flexibility in your schedule slash time allowance slash whatever it is that you can feasibly add in, it's going to result in either less eating, you know, stress eating, whatever it is, um, you know, better quality sleep, uh, better quality regulated hormones as a result of improved sleep, whatever it is, by all fucking means, you know, but ultimately I think it's stretching a little bit far to say that this thing is, you know, legit, but interesting deep dive nonetheless. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Have any of you implemented, uh, like I'm sure some of you guys have probably like meditated or something and noticed like a difference in your outcomes. I imagine that's like something that's a bit more common than something like this, but have any of you guys tried the, specifically this fucking one or any of the other interventions that are actually, you know, clinically reinforced with the, you know, acupressure sessions and what did it entail and what was your result? Um, let us know. And if anybody has uh, metrics to assess their quality of sleep through like aura ring before and afters or something, or a legitimate sleep study, you know, that would be interesting too. Let us know in the comments down below. All the comments are much appreciated. Like, subscribe, check out my blog. More plates, more dates.com. Follow me on Instagram and more plates, more dates. Facebook, Snapchat, not BitChute, not uh, Twitter, not TikTok right now. I'm actually fucking banned, and that's why I can't even see the goddamn comments on this guy's video. And we'll see if we can get that fixed. But uh, Apple Podcasts, if you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with in the video description below my TRT clinic, all telemedicine. From the comfort of your own home, get high quality oversight from doctors who understand how to interpret these kind of biomarkers and assess if you are making longitudinal trends in the right direction based on your, uh, you know, whatever you're doing, interventions in your life, like acupressure, see if there's any kind of improvements in your testosterone levels, in your uh, IGF-1 production, in your any kind of metrics that could set, um, enhance your uh, metabolism slash your ability to partition nutrients slash muscle building capabilities, anything of that nature. Um, again, you know, experts, at my clinic that are going to be able to point you in the right direction in terms of even if you're a natural, you do not have to be somebody who is only interested in HRT to be a um, quality candidate, to be a patient with us. We deal with a lot of naturals who are just looking to optimize their performance and their life. And we have uh, 
the qualified medical oversight to educate you on how to do that. And that is what we pride ourselves in rather than just being a cookie cutter testosterone mill. So check that out if it is of interest to you and other modalities of weight loss. We have uh, actually obesity specialists at our clinic. Um, a lot of our uh, doctors are actually well trained in obesity management through uh, you know previous work they've done as well. So. Um, if you want to check it out, it is in the video description below, as well as Gorilla Mind, Nootropic Formulas, Gorilla Mode, Pre-Workout Formulas, I Design Myself from Scratch, Recommended Lab Tests and Diagnostics, um, Stay on Top of Your Health through my clinic, like I mentioned. Uh, we have the most customizable lab builder, so if you just want to get your biomarkers checked or individual components, certain biomarkers on their own for a cheap price, nobody is offering these kind of customizable options like we are right now with our lab builder and you can interpret it for yourself or you can take it to their one of our doctors and get it interpreted like i mentioned earlier um the shirts i wear you know the brand the clothing brand i'm associated with and anything else i'm associated with it helps support me all the codes all the links it's all appreciated thank you guys for watching talk to you soon